definitely. Was there anything anyone else wanted to do before dinner? Or mm. are we just going to go? I will spend a little into bit of dinner. Sorry. He's going to change, change into dinner? <laughs> just comes covered in tomato sauce. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> it's Joe's. Pasta for hair, you know? Yeah. Um, I will Google the man in yellow. Sure. Uh, give me a computer use check. Maybe. I forget if she's any good at computer use. You're a professor. She's better me, than met... the stat, but did not pass. I've met many uh, professors who can't work computers. Did you say you did not pass? No. Nope. Uh, you find nothing of use. Cool. Uh, I tried. Good in effort. addition, you don't get um, uh, a call back from Holden, but he does respond with a text. Oh, yeah. That just says... Currently busy. We'll have work for you soon. We'll be in contact shortly. Karen finds this upsetting. <laughs> she gets ready for dinner. Sure. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's Joe's Italian parlor <laughs> filled with pizza and pasta. Best slogan ever. Um, the, the lighting is dim and dark with pools of orange light from various wall sconces lining the place. The entire uh, building smells like tomato sauce with oregano. And uh, there is horribly old Italian music playing through the distorted speaker system throughout the restaurant. Uh, mm. Can you guys each give me... Uh, so what time? So the a reservation is at 7.30. What time do people show up? Uh... True to myself, I show up about 15 to 20 minutes early. All right, cool. Because paranoia. <laughs> and anxiety. Yeah. 7.30 on the dot. All right. Uh, Karen to get there like 7.20, 7.25. All right, so we have the three levels. I like it. No one's late, though. That's really good. So um, you get in first, and the uh, hostess says, uh, do you have a reservation? Welcome to Joe's. Um, uh, uh, thank you. Um... <laughs> I don't know if I have a, have a reservation. I'm actually meeting some people here. Um, okay. Uh, if you would like to take a seat, that's, uh... Yeah. Yeah, sure. Sounds great. Sure. Uh, so you sit on a little waiting uh, bench, and about uh, five to ten minutes after you came here, uh, Karen walks in. And so the, mate, the hostess says, Welcome to Joe's! Do you have a reservation? Uh, yes, I do. It's under Donaldson for four. For four? Oh, thank you. Right away. Uh, you notice that uh, Shane is sitting uh, on the, the uh, right next to the the hostess stand on the little waiting bench. I, I'll just like wave him over as I assume we're kind of yeah, walking. I come over. Uh, the, she brings you to a small uh, booth uh, in the far back of the restaurant. Uh, the padding on uh, one of on uh, one of the sides is kind of coming a bit loose, and if you could, you could pull out the whatever's inside. Good. Would you like to sit on the broken side or the not broken side? Dibs I'll not sit broken on the broken side. side. All right. So you sit across from each other. At seven thirty, uh, the big man himself walks in, and the hostess says, "You, um, welcome to Joe's. Do you have a reservation?" We can't hear you. God damn it. <laughs> um, I'll just yell at her. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I absolutely do. Should be under Karen Donaldson. Oh, right this way. Uh, she Thank brings you. you to a small table at the back where Karen is on one side and a man you have never met is on the other. I will scooch over because it's a booth, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I will scooch over. Wonderful. I will sit. I'm wearing my very best. I put my suit on for this dinner. Um, the waiter comes up and says, uh, Buongiorno! Welcome to Joe's! Uh, is there anything I can get you? Any drinks? I'll wait for that fourth person to come and join us tonight. Um, I'll coffee and a water. Right away. <laughs> Definitely coming right up. Uh, how do you Just want your coffee? Do you want me to bring some cream and sugar out for you? Please. All right, thank you. And and for either of you, just, just water, rum, thanks. Neat. Rum, neat. What'd yeah. you say? Rum, neat. <laughs> sure. Uh, right away. Yeah. And then he uh, he the waiter turns away. 
Great. Uh, I'll be like, oh, who else is coming? Well, I thought you were going to invite Sam. Oh, yeah. She never got back to me. So, here we are. All right. Uh, great. Well, when the waiter comes back with our drinks, I'll let him know that we're not waiting on anyone else. Well, what's are you for Appies? Uh, hi, I'm Shane. <laughs> So, sorry, I am so sorry, Shane. Um, Shane, this is Jesse Rayner. Rayner, this is uh, Shane Bidet. Sorry, one more time. Shane Bidet. He's uh, an old friend from before Red Hall. Bidet. Weird way to phrase that, but okay. Uh, b- bidet. Yes. I've I've heard mm. it all. I've I've heard everything. <laughs> But I mean, like, feel free. (sighs) It's going to have to be really creative, though. Yeah, no, I'm not the creative type. I'm just going to slide you a card and be like, Jesse Rayner, private investigator. Uh, I slide him a card. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Shane Bidet, paranormal investigator. Uh, As a side note, can we, uh, just for each other as well as also chat, can we get like a physical, a brief physical description of everybody, of what their character looks like, just so they can picture these three people sitting at the table? Right, okay. Because to be real, I I picture Jesse as just James as he looks in a Hawaiian shirt. (laughs) (laughs) I can go put one on. (laughs) Oh my god. Here, uh, dude, describe it. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna go put on a Hawaiian shirt. Ask and you shall receive. Ah, uh, the cinematography here, folks. <laughs> um, no, Karen is just she's wearing like a um pencil skirt and a blouse, nice. um, with like one of those ruffly things on the chest. Nice, uh, nice and old school. Yeah, she's not she's not wearing a jacket or anything. Yeah. She's got, uh, I forget what color hair. It probably doesn't say on this because I don't think I did a description for her. No. Uh, we'll say she's got blonde shoulder length hair. It's oh, not, very not straight. What I picture. Not what I picture. That's good to know. Do you just look like Shane from Unsolved? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Yeah, yeah 100%. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> he is a tall, lanky guy. So. Tall, lanky dude. <laughs> uh, Amazing. Jesse's about to come back and show us what he looks like. Uh, the waiter comes and brings the drink, a coffee and a water for Shane, a water for Karen, and a rum, neat, for uh, Jesse. Uh, while he's there, I will mention to him that we're not waiting for a fourth, uh, but we probably will need some time to look at the menu. Of course, I'll be back uh, right away, or if you know, just flag me over if you see me, I'll come running. Welcome to Joe's. Certainly. Thank you. And he walks away. You guys trying real hard for that tip? Oh, yeah. Well, it's Red Hall. Yeah, you live with those here. I don't it's, know what that means. <laughs> it's real quiet in here. I like, gesture Fair. around. <laughs> uh, Jesse has excused himself to go to the bathroom. That's what happened. <laughs> ah, yes, of course. Naturally, naturally. That, that makes sense, yes. So um, what have you been uh, doing lately to keep busy? What's your YouTube story of late? Um, well, we're just starting out. So uh, I have some, like... <laughs> Hello. Uh, Jesse comes back from the bathroom as they are in a conversation. I'll let you guys continue your conversation. Um, I've got some uh, backlog from stuff that wasn't aired from my TV show. Um, but this is going to be the first big thing that I post. That's excellent that you've got rights to that. I hear that's hard to come by. It was a bitch to negotiate that contract, that's for sure. You were on a TV show? Uh, I was, yes. What show? Uh, Shane Bidet. To- uh, what toilet? <laughs> Excuse me? Go- Freudian slip, it happens often. Carry on. Toilet investigator. <laughs> but just a ghost hunter. Shane Bidet, That's ghost it. hunter. Ghost flusher. <laughs> what, uh... You believe in ghosts, eh? Um... I've never seen anything fully provable, but I like the idea, and it sells. Have you ever seen a monster made of human flesh that is 
so disproportionately thin that it can drag a man through a tiny hole in a wall and then turn that man into a chair. <laughs> Jesse, have you decided what you'd like to eat? <laughs> yeah, I'll get the chicken. Strips. Sorry, what? <laughs> uh, yeah, you heard me. You ever hear of anything like that? <clears throat> uh, no. Uh, furniture. Flesh golem. Furniture demon? Furniture making flesh golem. You ever. No, I've. Goes by the Stitcher. Never heard of him? Uh. <laughs> nope. Yeah, weird. Stitcher. Yeah. Stitcher, right? Am I mixing that up? No, you it's got like it. You got it. Yeah, yeah, you okay. got it. You nailed it. Oop. Ne okay, well. Jesse, I'm not really sure if this is dinner conversation to uh, to have with my guest. Your guest did not even show up for me to torture, so you know I'm starting to wonder if Sam even exists. In all honesty, um. <laughs> first we're, first we're, first we're <laughs> looking for her, and then you find her, um, and she's fine, but now she's not getting back to you or answering her text messages, and she can't show up for dinner. Yeah, my ex-wife apparently isn't even in Red Hall, so who the fuck knows, right? <laughs> um, I would like to do a quick scan of Joe's here. Is there anyone dining alone? Uh, you can get, give me a spot hidden check, but the waiter actually will come in and cut your eyes off. What? And what a say, jackass. Just like no. pull them out of your sockets and... <laughs> uh, so, uh, did you guys want to order some food? Some appetizers? Um, would you like to know the special? I would kill a man for some matzo sticks. You know what? We'll get you... This is the Red Hall's finest matzo sticks. Right, coming right your way. Okay. He'd kill a man for some matzo sticks. Yeah, you heard it here, folks. He's under arrest. Anything <laughs> else uh, for you guys? Uh, I think breadsticks for the table would be great. Sure, of course, um, yes. And I'm ready to order. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Let's order. All right, what do you guys want? You guys got uh, anything with that uh, prosciutto in it? Prosciutto, yes. Got yes. Uh, we have yeah, a veal, I would, I would we have love a, a pros... We have a, a veal what? cutlet with prosciutto on top uh, served mm -hmm. on a small bed of, pa of the day's pasta. And what else? Uh, there's some veggies on the side, some broccoli. I uh, mean, what else with the prosciutto? The prosciutto, uh, there's a prosciutto what pizza. Else? There's a prosciutto pizza. Sounds perfect. I'll get that. All right. Uh, what size? <laughs> uh, you, you guys gonna? You guys want some pizza? Uh oh, it looks no, like Nathan's you. frozen. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know what happened. <laughs> He's just very unimpressed. <laughs> it's okay. I'll, I can just remove your camera until you're uh, unfrozen. It'll probably have yeah. to wait until the next video. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we'll just. We, right. You can be voice only. Uh, he's gone. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll just be like, you know, let's not. Let's not uh, I, I don't want to be a glut. In a I mean, if you get a large, you can bring home the leftovers. They 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 heat up great tomorrow. Uh, you convinced me. All I'll right. get a large. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and what about for you, Miss? Ma'am, sorry, ma'am, ma'am. <laughs> Much uh, yes, ma'am. Just get a, a house salad with a vinaigrette dressing. Sure, of course. And for you, sir? Uh, can I get a fettuccine alfredo? Yeah, chicken? definitely. Some matzo sticks, fettuccine alfredo, breadsticks, prosciutto pizza, large, a house salad with vinaigrette. Coming right up. Welcome to Joe's. Then he turns away. <laughs> Welcome to Joe's. Welcome to Joe's. Is he Joe? Uh, his name tag says John. Mm. What but his name? friends call him Joe. Must be a family <laughs> business. Um, the waiter has stepped away. You guys can continue your conversation. What were we talking about? The Stitcher. The Stitcher. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, I know. I think. I think we were talking about uh, how your friend Sam doesn't actually exist. And uh... no, she's real. Are you sure about that? I mean, would I make up a crazy story like she's the ex-girlfriend of the Surgeon General or whatever the fuck he is at the Miss Mercy Hospital? What the fuck's the hospital called here? Greg, Greg Aner. Saint Greg Aner. Saint Meredith is where she was. Never mind. Miss Mercy. <laughs> I have honestly uh, heard of crazier things in this town. Like the Stitcher. Look, we can move on to the Stitcher if you would like. No. It's fine. 
but I think you need to really think about addressing the fact that you're creating uh, creating people to deal with your problems. And you're a professor of astronomy, not psychology, so... Anthropology. Same thing. No, it's not. Not, not even slightly. I mean, they Thank both start with A. Thank you. Good point. Great so counter-argument. Yeah. So... <laughs> There's that. Well, we're just making friends like crazy here tonight, aren't we? Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, what? Has Holden uh, talked to you anymore about anything no, I'm Holden supposed doesn't to... like me. Right. I mean, yeah, I don't think he likes many uh, people. When was the last time you looked at your phone, Jesse? Uh, like... Probably right before I left. Uh, you had a message from Holden that said, we'll Whoops. call you about work soon. Okay. Yeah, so I haven't talked to him. I didn't lie. <laughs> Oops. He, and he yeah. doesn't like you. Also not a lie. Yeah, so, I mean, he doesn't like anyone who's a shit disturber, but... Uh, so, Shane, tell me more about your television show. Oh, oh. he's gone. He's gone, and that oh, ruined the old one. Nathan's alert. dead. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, here, one Uh-oh. second. If I just go like got... this... Oh, no. Justin's head. <laughs> oh, no. One second, I'm pausing the video. Yeah. All right, so you asked... Uh, Jesse asked, Shane, tell me about your yeah. television show. Yeah, tell oh. me more about it. Um, well, uh, myself uh, and my team would go around to different locations. Oh, and... yeah, team. Yeah, it was mostly just video crew. Uh, a couple of them would show up on camera every now and then. Mm, okay. Um, and then like when they're like, "Oh shit, what was that?" and then quick pan and yeah, <laughs> I've seen. Uh, a I mean, show or two. some of them were kind of like became characters within the show itself. So tell me, be honest. I know a magician can't reveal his tricks, but I mean, did you ever have like a crew member move a door, or, like make a clapping noise when they shouldn't? Play a piano in a separate room. Uh, it would happen if, like, we were in a place and there was nothing. But there was something in most places. Something that people would believe is ghosts or paranormal in general. Did you ever have one of those tape recorders that you took home after? And it would be like, oh, yeah. What was that? And people would be like, oh, he says he wants to eat your blood. Oh, yeah. Well, no, yeah, 100%. I, I have a video recorder on me right now. Or sorry, a uh, uh, audio recorder on me right now. Uh, I've got. You'd make a terrible undercover agent. Uh, it's a good thing I'm not an undercover agent. <laughs> I'm not recording I'm... anything currently, but. <laughs> oh, okay. He's good then. He's wearing a wire, but he's not recording. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh. And uh, so, how you just didn't red halt to catch up, passing through? Uh, no, uh, Karen, uh, hit me, uh, I put a, like, uh, a call out on social media asking mm -hmm. if anyone had any, uh, leads for stuff for opening up my new show on YouTube. Uh, and Karen emailed me about this ritual site. What's it called? Shane Bidet Hunts Ghost 2? <laughs> uh, still working on a name for the show. Well, you can use that one free of charge. Ah, uh, that's very kind of you. Karen doesn't look impressed at this at all. No, uh, she's quietly just sipping her. The breadsticks are her... dropped on the table. And oh. the, the, uh, the exporter walks away. Thank you. The what, sorry? Exporter. Is that the technical name? Isn't for it expediter? Leader? Expediter, thank you, Nathan. What's an expediter? That the person who brings, brings out your out food, food that's not your waiter. Yeah, oh. expediter. Didn't know that. Speaking of food, all I know because, yeah, I only know because that's what my sister did a lot when she first started working at restaurants. Ah, uh, you cared so much, you learned the word. Yeah, I of. love my sister. Yeah, your sister's Aww. pretty rad. Yeah, she's kind, and uh, she likes to shit talk reality TV shows, and that's a big pastime of mine. Yeah. Oh, I love that too. I also have seen every single episode of Survivor, so there's that. She she wants Ooh. to come on stream too. So oh amazing yeah fun uh anyways yeah 
Not to interrupt uh, the role play. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, and uh, what lead have you gotten? Uh, I have nothing. Uh, all I got was there's a ritual site that I think you'd like to look at. And that's it. Now, Karen, a ritual site, like a ye old ritual site, because you are, after all, an anthropological professor, then that has <laughs> nothing to do with the stars. So much fucking sass. Um, um, if we're going to start talking about the <laughs> ritual site, would you mind if I pull up my audio recorder? Uh, I mean, I guess no, not. I hope not your audio recorder likes the sound of breadsticks. <laughs> Uh, I pull my audio more. recorder and just hit record. Karen it starts like with breadsticks. <laughs> Karen just takes a big sip of her water. Uh, it, it's a uh, a site I was looking into a while ago. Um, but I didn't get very far. And I figured... Uh, Maybe Shane would like to investigate. Uh, but, wow. you know, I sent, that, I sent that email a while ago, uh, back when you first started looking. Uh, I had almost forgotten about it, in fact. Well, why, did you, why didn't you get very far in looking it up? Or looking into it, rather? Uh, it uh, came out at a dead end, if you will. Uh, are you talking like... figuratively or literally? Like, you found corpses? Yeah. It, you know, I really have to go to the bathroom, actually. Uh, do you mind, uh, Rainer? No, no. Oh, scooch, scooch, scooch. Yeah, and I'll get up and go to the bathroom. I'll pause uh, the recorder. Oh, my God. What's, uh... <laughs> struck a nerve, I guess. Apparently. Actually, or, no. Know. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. This could be interesting. <laughs> With, uh, bread sticks maybe, uh... Not agreeing with her. Oh. Potentially. But she um, seems pretty off from what I remember. How long have you guys known each other, did you say? Oh, you know. A number of years. A number of years. <laughs> Many yeah, moons. Uh, how old is Shane, Nathan? He's about 31. 30? Holy shit. That's how old I am this year. Young boy. <laughs> how old is Karen, Megan? 42. She's 42. Oh, I remembered that. How old good is Jesse job, again? 37? Uh, 35. So close. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hal <laughs> is 37, I'm pretty sure. So, anyways. Um, I'll just kind of sit there awkwardly with Shane. I dip just... my matzo sticks in the marinara. It's delicious. <laughs> oh. Excellent. When the waiter comes back, can I like? I want to ask him like, "What's your most expensive bottle of champagne?" Oh, uh, it's a uh, champagne de la stomp. Mm-hmm. De la stomp. Oh fuck! Callbacks. <laughs> How much is de la stomp? Uh, you're looking for the a glass? A, a bottle. A bottle. The table. Oh, that would be two hundred and forty dollars. My pleasure. Bring one. Of course. Yes. For the oh, table yeah, or just for you? you? Welcome to Jeff's. <laughs> for the table or just for you, sir? Oh, for the table. Perfect. Thank you so much, and welcome to Joe's. And then we walk <laughs> over. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, that was quite a flex. <laughs> Are you saying that in character? Yep. No. Oh. Uh, no, it's not a flex. I'm just happy to have one big at the casino and have dinner with friends. Not often you can do that in Red Hall. Every now and again, you got to shoot a friend in the head because he's being taken away by a stitch monster. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. What? What? Just the greatest. I'm gonna do a fast talk to be like change the subject. Tell me more about you. <laughs> um, so Nathan, if you want, you can compete against his fast talk to try okay. and. So uh, I got I got a forty three. He got a 43. So and what you... level of that was for you, James? For its That would pass in my uh, normal. So then I believe you can make a psychology to go against it. Oh, because okay. he's not trying to fast talk you back, right? He's trying to 
Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Who cares um, if that's right or wrong? I got a uh, 44 for a regular success. All right, so you uh, are swayed by him, and he is able to change the subject. Okay. Yeah. Just to be like, I'm I'm actually very interested in your ghost show still, yeah. believe it or not. <clears throat> Tell me more about yeah. ghosts. Uh, well, if all goes well, um, I'll be getting rights to everything, not just the not uh, filmed or not put out on television stuff. So my YouTube channel is on the card that I gave you. Oh, yeah. Paranormal events. And you've been doing this for how long? Uh, professionally for about five years for shits and giggles since end of high school. And this pays bills. Oh yeah, oh yeah. People are obsessed with the paranormal. <laughs> Jesse's like reflecting on like real investigations don't really pay the bills. <laughs> <laughs> I got a Patreon and everything. <laughs> Just like huh. if only I was a, pr- a paranormal investigator, not a private. <laughs> so close. I stopped at private. Uh, Karen, you're in the bathroom. Uh, she's How's gonna like the nose powder going take a really long time to wash her hands. She's gonna try calling For Holden back. Seconds. I assume he does not answer. He does not answer. Yeah. Uh, she's not gonna leave another message. Uh, she'll just kind of sit on the counter in the ladies' room for a while. She's literally just, like, killing time, hoping that the food will be there by the time she gets back. Go to the bathroom and the food comes out. That's the rule. Uh, you guys are... We'll go back to the table then as you're continuing to... The, how much... You make a lot of money while par, uh, Paranormal Investigating. He has a Patreon. Not, Jesse, not a you, lot of money. A good chunk. It pays the bills. Uh, Je- Jesse, do you know what a Patreon is? Mm-mm. <laughs> I'll be like, is that something like a Roman artifact? <laughs> uh, no, no. It's a, it's a website where you can... Get your fans to uh, give money to you so you can keep creating content. Say no more. I've seen those sites. Nah, I Only don't think fans. you know what I, I don't <laughs> think. Uh, it's not It's not what you're thinking of, but uh, you get the general idea. Um, I mean, some people use it for that. I don't. Hey, whatever <laughs> pays the bills, right? Exactly. I finished my coffee. In just one gulp. <laughs> yeah, I know that maneuver. Um, I throw it in the trash. No. <laughs> Put my feet up on this table at Joe's. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so you really know nothing about this ritual site. That oh, Karen no, made. not at all. Um, I haven't found anything online about it. Like I found some interesting stuff about the city and goings-on, but... Nothing specifically about this ritual site. Let's talk about Karen. Okay. She's a tough egg to crack. What can you tell me about it? Oh, uh... You say she's different now than what you're... Oh, you, how did she used to be? Uh, more jovial. <clears throat> uh, less beat around the bushy. Less likely to run off when you ask her an easy question. Karen's gonna come back from the bathroom in Uh-oh. the middle of this conversation. There is no food. <laughs> She's going to look dejected, but she's going to look all, all, then expectantly at Jesse to stand up and let her back in. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'll definitely do <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. Scooch, 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 scooch. What are the... Ch- I assume she overheard <clears throat> roughly the end of the conversation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you come back and they're seemingly still talking about the exact same thing. Just how, like, you know... Uh, as you sit down conveniently, the, the waiter comes with, an, with a bottle of champagne and three glasses that he puts down at the table and says, he opens it up, ah, pours a bottle yeah. glass for each of you, Woo. and says, your food will be coming out shortly. Welcome to Joe's. And then he walks Welcome away. Wow. I'm just going to be like, cheers to friends. You know, I forgot that you won big at the uh, casino last night. How how did that go? How did you end up at the casino? I thought you were uh, spending some time with Sam, or maybe you had a meeting with Holden. I can't I can't remember. <laughs> oh my god, she's so fucking evil. As a side note, just you wait till uh, Jesse's like, so we're gonna split this one champagne three ways. Right? Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> I had some. Uh, I can afford my meal. I can't afford the champagne. 
I had some stuff on the docket, but it just uh, fell through being a Sunday. And I thought, you know what? Let's roll the dice and gamble a little. Uh, so where was the uh, the big winnings from? What, what casino should I check out? Oh, well, it's not really where you play. There's That's a myth, actually. No machine pays out better than any machine. It's all about setting a limit, staying within it, and being responsible. How unlike you. You've known me for five days. Step off. <laughs> I, you know, I'm sorry. You're right. That was very I'm rude. kidding. And then I'll cheers. I'll be like, ah, I'm very easy to read. I know people get my... <laughs> yeah. Indulgence, my. We're going to take a break for YouTube in the next episode. Continue this dinner conversation, which goes from talking about paranormal investigation to the most awkward thing I've seen in a long time. See you in there. <laughs>